employees have the right to unionize. What that means is employees have the right to organize and collectively bargain to improve working conditions. So let's define a labor union. So labor unions are a group of employees from a certain trade, industry, or profession that form together to protect workers' rights and interests. So labor unions are funded by membership dues paid by members. So there is a fee to be part of a member or to be a member of the union. Labor unions can collectively bargain. So that means they bargain as a group. And labor unions may call a strike if bargaining is ineffective. So if you're unable to reach a agreement with your employer, then employees do have the right to go on strike. The National Labor Relations Act, NLRA, guarantees the right of employees to organize and bargain collectively with their employers. So this provides employees the fundamental right to seek better working conditions without fear of retaliation. So employees have the right to organize a union, form, join, or assist a union, bargain collectively, strike and picket, take action to improve working conditions, and also choose not to engage in any of these activities. So you don't have to be part of a union, you don't have to participate in a union, but you also do have the right to be part of one and to take action to improve your working conditions. So employers cannot threaten employees if they join or vote for a union or engage in protective activity. Employers cannot question employees about their union activities and employers cannot promise benefits to employees to discourage union support. So what that looks like is usually employers will pull aside one or two people and try to offer them better deals if they do not join a union, they cannot do this. Employers also cannot transfer, lay off, terminate, assign more difficult tasks, or punish employees for engaging in union activities. So if your employer knows that you're trying to form a union, they pretty much cannot take any negative action against you for trying to do so. Some additional resources that you should look into. The National Labor Relations Board has a website that informs employees of all of their rights. And also it um, has a process for you to report any violations. So if you are trying to form a union at your work um, and you feel threatened by your employer um, because you're trying to form a union, you can report them um, through the National Labor uh, Relations Board. And then there's, there's also a worker organizing resource and knowledge center, so work center. It's kind of a one-stop shop for information and resources regarding unions and collective bargaining. So it also gives you a step-by-step -step guide to form a union if you think that would help uh, your workplace. And uh, the poster on the right is just a uh, employee rights poster that your work should have posted up. Um, this just lists all the rights that employees have that I just went over. So it's a nice quick summary if you would like to look at that. That poster can be found um, on the National Labor Relations Board website.